Hello, this is Ian, and I am about five days into a fast. Today is Tuesday, and I started fasting. My last meal was uh, late uh, Thursday night, last Thursday night. So I've written about this a little bit before, fasting on my blog. Of course, I'm not super sharp, and I think I sound probably a little slow right now, but that's how it goes. So, what's it feel like? What's five-day fast feel like? Of course, I didn't start here, you know. I first started doing a little bit of fasting or intermittent fasting. Uh, I don't know. Probably close to six years, seven years ago. And I started with something called a warrior diet, which is basically like a 20-hour... Uh, I think about a 20-hour fast or something and that was extremely difficult at first it's basically like just eating all your meals or most uh, of your food within like a small four-hour window and since then I've like dabbled with a bunch of different kinds of fasts and uh, I've done one day two day three day four day and five day fast this would be this will be my second uh, five day fast I've contemplated somewhat going beyond five days but let's see how it goes so what does it feel like um, it's a little up and down so for me when I started my fast usually the first day is not much of a problem uh, 24 hours is not much of a problem it's kind of like you feel a little might get a little cranky or something sometime but energy my energy does not wane in 24 hours um, I feel pretty pretty functional pretty good for 24 hours you get a little itchy you will get a little hungry you know and whatnot uh, but 24 hours is okay and then after that it's kind of a little variable this time has been kind of like so my second day was difficult um, the third day was third day was better and the fourth day yesterday was difficult and then today I'm feeling pretty good uh, pretty good considering right being on a five day and stretch out five day without five days without food um, you can feel and other people I've reported to, like, um, could feel euphoric at times. You could feel, um, like, really bad. <laughs> like, you could feel nauseous. Like, I think uh, there's a few times, maybe around the second day this time, I did feel slightly nauseous. You could um, feel... You could actually, yeah, I, another nausea story I, I can tell you later, but you could feel out of balance, kind of wobbly feeling, uh, tired. Um, it depends on how long you get a fast for, you know? Like I said, like if I do 24 hour fast often in that time, I don't feel, I don't feel tired. You know, I still try to push myself a little bit because one of the benefits of fasting is um, autophagy and like doing some exercise while you're fasting or at least in the beginning phase of your fast uh, will accelerate that benefit of autophagy. So it's kind of like if you do exercise it is kind of like it is kind of accelerating your fast. However yeah, I'm not recommending that or anything like that because I'm sure yeah, optimal performance is probably not in a very fasted state. Probably not. I don't know about that. Anyways, um, I have done some, some exercise and I think that helps. And it also changes your mood. Like I was reading yesterday about, or watched a video about, what do you do like when you feel tired or weak when you're fasting and stuff like that? Some people recommended different things. And one of the things was to exercise, which may feel counterintuitive at the time. Um, 
had a few days. I think Sunday I did a little hiked up the mountain here with some weights. I was holding some weights in my hand, a couple of uh, ankle weights I wrapped around my wrist and a couple of small dumbbells. It wasn't a lot of weight. I don't know how much it is, maybe 15, 20 pounds. And then I hiked up the hillside here and down and did a few squats and stuff like that. And it was difficult to motivate myself to do it, but when I got you know, up there and started doing it, then you're doing it, and then when I was done with it, it was, I felt pretty good. Yesterday I did something similar. I was feeling very weak and very tired and not so good yesterday. So uh, I did try a little, I did a little, uh, some planks, a few rounds of planks, and, um, and then I went for like kind of a walk. I did a little skipping, sidestepping, like we do, we would do in judo and karaoke and uh, what else? Um, uh, and then I did little sprints. I try to sprint up the short little hillside here, and then up the up the driveway and whatnot. And um, it was difficult. Uh, very difficult, totally out of breath and whatnot, and yeah, so five-day fast, what does it feel like? Um, other times, I think one thing you have to be compared, like what did I, what, there's different levels of fasting too, like I, this is this is a thing, you know, if you're like just getting into fasting, you got to read a lot of different things and a lot of different opinions, there's different types of, and what is officially a fasting, you know, like on the low level over here, you've got like dry fasting, which is like no water, no liquids. I think it's probably a little bit more dangerous, but some people are gonna, I don't know if they're gonna advocate it or they're gonna say that's, that's, that is the most extreme form of fasting. And then there's like, like water fasting, which is like a step up. You're drinking water and only water. And then you've got like, um, Maybe you can drink herbal tea, herbal teas and green teas or uh, black coffee, but of course without sugar or any cream or anything like that. And you've got like uh, maybe drinking coffee with cream or tea with cream or something like that or fats or adding coconut oil to it. Um, and then you've got calorie restriction which still has some benefits, but you're like reducing your calories by quite a bit, maybe by 60% or something or more. Um, like reducing your food intake by 60% or more, you know? Um, and there's some benefits, scientific benefits to that too. So what are the benefits? I, obviously I'm not doing it. I'm a thin guy. I'm probably classified as an ectomorph as far as like uh, body types go Why am I fasting? I'm not fasting to lose weight and I don't recommend anybody To fast to lose weight. Why not? Because you're gonna gain it all back when you just go back to your life you know? It's uh, You've got to change if you want to lose weight you've got to change either what you're eating how you're eating or like in what I mean by that is the hours, like your, the time frame that you're like eating in. Time restricted feeding is another thing when you shrink, 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 uh, shrink the, the hours down that you eat in a day, every day, or close to every day, into maybe, well, that varies again, could be, but you know, maybe 10 hour window, eight hour window. If you go down even a four, like I said, the warrior diet, then it's like, you know, what, what are these terms called and stuff, but uh, ooh, uh, I lost track of my mind where I was going there. Um, shoot, just blacked out. A little spacey today because you're not going to be especially sharp when you fast. So you want to keep that in mind. The longer you go, like you're not going to be super sharp. I drink a lot of, uh, I think, what are they talking about? Oh, I drink, uh, so I drink, I usually drink teas. Like I'll drink herbal teas and I'll drink green tea. Uh, something to keep in mind, if you suddenly stop caffeine, then you're going to be fasting from two things. 
caffeine and number two you're gonna fast from food and that's gonna be two shocks to your system mm, wouldn't recommend that I would like say for example like just maybe if you usually drink coffee with cream and sugar cut out the cream cut out the sugar or at least cut out the sugar and and drink that uh, if you want to do more like stringent fast with water fast then I would probably cut the caffeine out a few days before and keep eating for those days and then go to the fast so it's not going to be too hard it's hard like I did a 21 day caffeine fast I didn't drink any tea coffee any of that so uh, I'm gonna lean back here for a second uh, so on a I drank what have I I drank some herbal tea and some green tea this time and one day yesterday morning I actually drank a coffee as sort of uh, yeah just sort of coffee and uh, diluted by uh, what I don't know I don't usually drink coffee I rarely drink coffee actually and um, it was not so strong according to uh, my father um, but and I didn't drink green tea and um, I don't know coffee and you know green tea also have some beneficial as far as like autophagy goes and what's autophagy I mentioned that before it's uh, your your body's ability to like repair itself it's gonna eat like eat uh, dead and diseased tissues in your body it's like good for repair fasting's good for repair that's why I'm doing it it's gonna like fasting is like in animal studies with uh, mice and monkeys uh, mice and monkeys live longer when they reduce their calories that's a fact that's proven to what degree that's gonna affect humans is uh, not sure, you know. Mm. It's also other benefits of fasting is if you if you've hurt yourself, if you've um, helps your body repair. You know, there's some increases with uh, growth hormone in your body when you fast, and stem cells as well. So autophagy, stem cell, stem cells, growth hormone. You know, those are all benefits that you'll get from an extended fast. Now, you're not going to get those from like like a fast. What is the word breakfast? That means, I guess, two words, you break a fast. So at nighttime, you're technically fasting. You're not eating, right? And you sleep. So, yeah, you really got to get up into, as far as autophagy goes, and all my research, I'm not sure when the, the best point is. But, of course, the longer the time you're in a fast, then the longer the time in your in your fast and the greater the time you're going to be at a higher level of autophagy your body's always as i understand it are mostly always in doing some autophagy but when you stop eating and your insulin goes down then you're increasing your body's ability to perform that activity to basically repair itself and rid itself of diseases so i think it's getting a little long I think I touched on most things I want to say in my experience. Uh, this has been the first fast that I've done since quite a while. About a year ago, I was doing. I did, went through a period where I was doing a lot of fasting. I was doing three days alternate day fasting. I did a four day. I did a five day fasting. All within a fairly, I don't know, a number of months, anyways. And um, that's pretty much that. You know, like, yeah, like kind of how you feel, you, fasting can be difficult. It's not an easy thing to do, a long-term thing. It's just best to, like anything, start small and then kind of uh, go from there, you know. It's like, like anything else, you know, you work your way up to it. So this will be my second five-day fast, and um, yeah. I think that's pretty much all I got to say. Uh, if you have any questions, you can let me know. This is Ian. Sounds long.